This is a poem that I wrote in November of 2006 entitled The Aching. Here I am, choked up by blessings and afraid to invest my soul in the goal. Because the past has said, highlights fade to dim lights and repeat the bittersweet process again, turning miracles at 180 degrees, concluding in the destruction of the ease, forming another well-invested tragedy. This is the conclusion that concluded time and time again. This is the pattern that stalked me down and called me friend. This is the picture that shifted and quivered and burned my stomach till sore. This is the switch of betrayal where fear was born. And I can't heal alone, but I can't let you in. I ache deep down in places untouched where the weather is unfriendly and the loneliness stalks where the ghosts of my past play tricks on the mind, haunting the spirit and collapsing the spine. I cry in dry voids that pull like black holes in dire places where I can't let you go because I love you like I love myself. And if I can spare you the unforgiving course of this hell, I'd ward you off while I silently grieve. Cause I self-sabotage and die over and over again, walking paths with no footprints, traveling cycles that left me unloved and undone in spaces where hope fell on deaf ears. I'm caught between nightmares and reveries in a limbo state that only banshees see. And if I could save you from the villains that shatter your dreams and wake you with morning from out your sleep, I'd sever this love and send you away. But baby, you know I can't. Because I love you like I love myself. And I can't let us go. Therefore... You'll have to venture this gutter depth of pain on your own selfless accord to aid the fruition despite barriers or the scene. But by God, you better be brave. Tell me that love has rendered you brave.